This is question 16. The question says a long solenoid of 100 cm length having 100 turns carries a current of 5 ampere. The magnetic field at the end of solenoid is it is given that mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere. Now the four options are 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla, 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 6 tesla, 6.28 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla or 6.28 into 10 to the power minus 6 tesla. Dear students, the magnetic field at the end of the solenoid which is long is given as mu naught ni by 2. Now all we need to do is substitute the given values. Herein, n is given as number of turns per unit length. So n can be written as number of turns which are 100 divided by the length which is 100 centimeter or 1 meter. So n is equal to 100 turns per meter. I that is current is also given which is equal to 5 ampere. The value of mu naught that is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 is also given in the equation. On substituting the values, B will be equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 100 into 5 by 2 and this will be equal to 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla. Therefore, for this question, the correct answer is option A that is 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla. Now, let us move to the next question. This is question 17. The question says, taking into account of the significant figures, what is the value of 23.623 centimeters plus 8.7 centimeters? And the four options are 32.3, 32.323, 32.32 or 32. The students, the rules of significant figures state that in the case of addition, the final answer should have as many decimal places as there are in the number with the least number of decimal places. In the given question, 8.7 has only one decimal place that is 0.7. Therefore, the final answer should also have only one decimal place. If we add 23.623 and 8.7, we'll get a value of 32.323 and if we round it off to one decimal place our final answer will be 32.3 and hence for this question the correct answer turns out to be option A that is 32.3. Now let us move to the next question. This is question 18. The question says light of frequency three times the threshold frequency is incident on a photosensitive material. What will be the saturation photoelectric current? If the intensity is halved, keeping frequency constant. The four options are doubled, halved, one fourth, or zero. The students will use the Einstein's photoelectric equation here. The Einstein's photoelectric equation says that h nu, that is the incident energy, where nu is the incident frequency, is equal to h nu naught, where nu naught is the threshold frequency, plus k max, that is the kinetic energy of the fastest photoelectron. Now, in this particular situation, it is given that the light has a frequency of 3 times the threshold frequency. Now, since the light has a frequency of 3 times the threshold frequency, we can write down that h into 3 nu will be equal to h into nu naught. Here, 3 nu can be replaced by 3 nu naught plus k max and k max will give us a value of 2 h mu naught. Now, we can see that since the frequency is three times the threshold frequency, we are getting a certain kinetic energy of the fastest photoelectron and therefore the photo current will be observed. Now in the question, the intensity is halved. We must also know that the saturation photo current that is I max is actually proportional to the intensity. So if the intensity is halved, I max will also get halved. And therefore, for this question, the correct answer is option B, that is halved. Now, let us move to the next question. This is question 19. The question states, the color code of a carbon resistor is given below. The resistance of the resistor will be, and there are four options, 24 into 10 to the power 7 ohms plus minus 10%, 25 into 10 to the power 4 ohms plus minus 10%, 35 into 10 to the power 6 ohms plus minus 5%, or 27 into 10 to the power 5 ohms plus minus 5%. Dear students, this is based on the color coding of the carbon resistor and for that we must remember that red corresponds to a digit 2, yellow 
corresponds to a digit 4, violet corresponds to a digit 7, while silver corresponds to a tolerance which is equal to 10 percent. Therefore, the final answer can be written as 24 that is first two digits multiplied by 10 raised to power the multiplier digit that is 7 ohms plus minus the tolerance that is 10 percent. And hence for this question the correct answer is option A that is 24 into 10 raised to power 7 plus minus 10 percent. Now let us proceed and solve the next question. This is question 20. The question says three particles each of mass m are placed at corners of an equilateral triangle of side A as shown in the figure. The x coordinate of the center of mass will be root 3 by 2a, 3 by 4a, a by 2 or a. Dear students, we can see the diagram that is given here. The x coordinate of the position of center of mass can be written as m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 whole divided by the total mass. Here x1 x2 x3 are individual x coordinates of each masses. Now for this mass x is equal to 0, for this mass x is equal to a, while for this mass x is equal to a by 2. Now we can substitute the values and write down that it will be equal to m into 0 plus m into a plus m into a by 2 and whole if we divide by the total mass that is 3m and this dear students will be equal to a by 2 and hence for this question the correct answer is option c that is a by 2. Now let us move to the next question.